What is the scariest thing you have seen? I was a dog walker. Opened the door to my most frequent client hanging by a slip lead she had gotten from me. She had been dead for two days. That shit ducked me up for a long time. It's unbelievably scarring to see someone dead. Not like someone lying in a casket dead where you're already mentally aware that the person has passed. But coming up on someone who has died and you're not expecting it. I was 14 years old and getting ready for school one morning, nothing out of the usual. Whenever I went downstairs to my kitchen, I found my dad slumped on the kitchen floor. I yell, he doesn't respond, I start shaking him for a minute and still nothing. I go to get my mom, she comes out and also yells. As she was preparing to call 911, he finally gets up. Luckily for us, he had recently started a new medication that made him extremely tired. Apparently he fell asleep while making coffee. He is still with us to this day, but that memory always scares me. The inside of a green sedan car when a guy tried to kidnap me when I was 18. He had the door opened and tried to push me inside several times, I remember thinking if he gets me inside I'm dead so I put the heel of my shoe at the bottom of the door, one hand on the roof and pushed against the car with all my strength while crying. I bit, scratched and hit but I'm thin and he was a muscular young guy. So the inside of that car is the scariest thing I've ever seen. This winter I was driving a trailer with two horses from NY to FL. The day before it had just snowed about 8 inches or so. On the highway there was a massive big rig in front of me and I see this huge slab of ice fly off the top of the trailer. It was this enormous piece, looked at least 5 feet by 5 feet and a few inches thick of just solid ice. The way it flew off the top of the trailer, it caught some wind underneath and went up even higher. I immediately knew that this piece was going to come down directly onto my windshield. The highway was full of cars so swerving to avoid the ice wasn't an option and being that I was carrying horses and pulling a trailer, a sudden movement would risk me losing control. I sat there staring at this huge piece of ice, knowing in a few seconds it would come crashing down onto my windshield. I just hoped for the best and hoped it wouldn't smash through it. My brother was sleeping in the back and when it hit, it made one of the loudest noises I've ever heard, immediately waking him up. Luckily it didn't shatter the windshield. It did however rip off the side mirror on the left side of the car. It was very scary and I consider myself very lucky that it didn't end up way worse. It's 3 a.m., my bedroom door is half open and my fiancé is asleep next to me. I see a shadow of someone walking in the hallway. Then I see the person walking through the door. I am literally about to shit my pants, then the person walks into my bedroom. It was an old birthday balloon that had floated to the ceiling a few weeks ago. The helium had leaked just enough to cause it to float six feet above the ground and hover silently into our room. Was backpacking in Sydney, got a job helping renovate a guy's house. Walking out of the garage one day and something like dust or plaster falls on the back of my neck. I swipe it off, it hits the floor and starts fucking moving. First instinct is to crush it, which I'm glad I did. Was a red back spider, that had been on my ducking neck. My brother coming home almost naked and beaten up. Some Albanians had jumped him, stripped him and ganged up on him over some girl, apparently. The fact that he was beaten up wasn't so scary, but he was naked. My mind immediately jumped to worse stuff. Me and a buddy of mine went down this trail on our dirt bikes, we just got off the trail and headed back down the twisty road. We were having fun around the corners until we saw a cyclist walking down the road. At least that's what we assumed that he is judging from his gear. Me and my buddy both felt bad for the poor chap since we thought some punk stole his bicycle from him or something. So we pulled off to the side of the road and I noticed that his left thigh is bleeding profusely as we could see a big gash and could almost see the bone, we told him to sit down, and I took out my extra shirt from my backpack and wrapped it around his thigh while my buddy called for an ambulance. I kept asking the dude's name but he wasn't talking properly. So I just assumed that he is in a lot of pain and is going through shock. So I keep asking him what was his name. He never answered since the whole time I was talking to him he was looking straight along the road. Five minutes later he told me to go check on his brother. I asked him, what's his number? Let me call him for you. He looked at me dead in the eyes and said he went down the raven out of panic I stood up and looked around, sure enough about 10 feet away I saw two broken bicycles that crashed on the metal barrier. I rushed to the scene and looked below the raven and there I saw a man, mangled beyond recognition. His spine was twisted to the left, 
and his head twisted to the right. His eyes fixed on mine as I hear him whisper help and his eyes rolled onto the top of his eyelids. Ambulance arrived, the guy on the raven died, while the brother who had a broken leg survived. I never forgot their faces. To this day on I always tell myself that all of that was just a dream. I was walking home at night and saw what looked to be a very tall, burly man standing next to a tree right off the sidewalk in front of my neighbor's house. I slowed down a little to cautiously approach this large dude and as I get within about 10 it drops down onto all four legs and I realize it's a bear. So I slowly back up and walk all the way back around the block to get home while trying not to shit my pants. A few years ago my family and I lived in a house with a rather large basement. Our basement had a door which led to a smaller room where my dad mainly kept his tools. When I was about 16 I went downstairs to get a textbook because I was working on a science project. This was about at 3 a.m. I went downstairs and turned the light on. While I was halfway down the stairs the doorknob on the door which led to a smaller room started violently shaking. Whoever was trying to open the door couldn't because the door was locked. Then they banged on the door one time and stopped. I thought it could have had my brother or dad who probably got stuck in there so I wanted to go check. But just in case I went back upstairs to pick up my dad's hunting rifle. With my heart beating out of my chest I opened the door and no one was there. This is impossible because there is no other way out of the small door other than that door. And even if the person who was violently shaking the door knob opened the door and left I would have seen him slash her while I was upstairs grabbing the rifle. My parents dismissed it as me hallucinating but I know what I saw. Thankfully we moved out a while back. By far the scariest moment of my life. Holy hell. I've experienced sleep paralysis only once, but it scarred me a long time. Basically I was 10 and woke up to a bloodied figure in a red robe and a large golden mask at the end of my bed. It just stared at me for an eternity until it removed the golden mask to reveal a disfigured and unnerving face. It just gawked at me until it laughed at me and slowly faded away. I didn't know about sleep paralysis until about 10 years later, so until then I could have sworn it was real. Walking to my parking garage late at night. Woman stopped me asking if I could give her a ride to buy milk for her newborn. No way was I going to go that, politely declined but still felt kind of bad. My parking garage stairwell had windows I could look out of, decided to watch where she went next. She walked towards a set of dumpsters which I had passed by, and from behind them arose two men. They then walked down the alley together. A little boy in a window. A long time ago I was playing hide and seek with my neighborhood buds. I was counting against a tree next to my friend's grandma's window. I looked up and saw a boy around my age in the window looking right at me. He stared at me as I walked past, I waved but he did not wave back. We finished playing about an hour later and went inside the grandma's house. I noticed a very large entertainment center blocking that window. No way in hell a person could be standing next to the window. I didn't see it initially because the curtain was closed, so the little boy was between the window and curtain. I told the grandma a few years later, and she confirmed that she had experienced paranormal shit many times in that house. She had her church come out and cleanse it I guess, so she hasn't had any since. It was more weird than scary. The thing I encountered while driving at night in Central Europe, Moravian region, from the forested hill region of Moravian Karst into a city called Brno. Standing on four legs, the head was higher than the roof of my SUV, it was in dark and it seemed to have some fur in some parts, the rest was just impossible to see, it was like the light from my car didn't reflect from it, it was a solid grey, probably, cover. It had no visible eyes, no visible mouth, but the head was very long. The shape of the body itself reminded me of an enormous beast, like a wolfhound, but not exactly, the legs were more straight, like of a cattle. I could not see the shape of its stomach, but the rib cage was incredibly huge, with fur on the bottom. It walked, jumped on the road from a slope, right in front of my car, I was lucky to go slowly, as there was a bit of fog that night. It stopped, I managed to break right in front of it. I stood there for a second, maybe two and then it walked across the road and into the field heading to the forest into the Rakovec Creek. 